Hey guys, welcome back. So we have our first Primark haul, I think this year. And no, I lie. I actually picked up a few pieces, this top included, a couple of months back before I went away. And I bought a handful of tops then, and nothing too crazy, nothing worth putting into a haul, but I got a couple of bits. But this is the first one I've done in a little while. Like this is a decent sized bag. Um, it's pretty full, big combination of different things. Actually, one thing I did leave in the dressing room, but I'll bring that later. I'm just gonna go straight in, I'm gonna dive straight in, pick the first thing out, and go from there. Okay, this is a cropped, long sleeve, black top. It is ribbed as well, so if you can see, you see that texture? You see that? It's super nice. I got it in a small and it was only five pounds. So look how stretchy this is too, look. So I mean, it's got a lot of stretch. So hopefully, that, I think that'll look really nice a pair of like high-waisted baggy jeans. I think it'll look really cute. I think it's actually like a sports top, but I'll probably just wear it day to day anyway. And I did buy a jumper, so I say a jumper, it's a pretty thin one, but look how cute this is. Look how cute that is. It is a crop style, long sleeve, blue and white, absolutely stunning. It doesn't feel like too thick, it feels like it's quite nice like mid-weather jumper. And that was £10 and I got that in a small as well. The small for these are currently 10 to 12, so I think it'll be a little bit baggy. Um, but I think it should be perfectly fine, really nice again with another pair of jeans because let's be real, that's what I live in when I'm not at work is jeans. And I got another top. We're going all through the tops first guys, all through the tops first. I left this one on the hanger. This one is a body top. Um, so it is a body style, clips at the bottom as well. Useful as we all know, if you want to go to the toilet there is also a thread there, let's just remove that. This I've got in an extra small because Every time I get a body, it fits me on my chest and my hips, but my waist seems just like really, really baggy and really loose. So I've got the extra small. The extra small is a six to eight, but the small was a 10 to 12, and that is gonna be way too big on my waist. So we've gone for a six to eight. Let's hope that it's gonna fit. You guys will probably see just here if it fits or not. But this was only five pounds in the extra small. And it's super, super soft again as well with that ribbed material. If you can see that, super lovely, really nice. Cannot wait to be putting that back on relatively soon. Next, we're gonna go in with a few bottoms and I am boring and I got all the same thing just in different colors because I'm gonna live, at these, live in these at work in the duration of winter because it gets cold in the unit until the heating comes on. So I've got some joggers. Classic all black, plain black joggers, cuffed at the bottom. Cannot go wrong with a pair of black joggers. And again, these pull in as well. So if they are a little bit big, I can pull them in. Again, being 10 to 12, they might be a little bit. But oh, pulling stickers off. Again, black joggers, you cannot go wrong. And then I saw the shelf below the black ones. And I may have got some pinky, purpley, marvy looking coloured ones too. Again, cuffed at the bottom. These ones are a regular fit though, whereas those are a skinny fit. So these are gonna be a little bit more loose, a bit more baggy. Probably be really nice for when it's winter to wear like thermals underneath and then these on top. And it would be super comfy and uh, I wouldn't be dying of cold. Um, so I've got them in the pink Marvy color and I also got them in the baby blue as well. Again, I've got them in a small, they are a 10 to 12. Hopefully they should fit okay. Um, you guys will see pretty soon if they don't and if they are too big I'll just tie them at the top and they'll be perfectly fine ah I got one more top I forgot about this one it's more of a jacket actually it's like a hooded jacket um, I saw this and fell in love with it I think it's this style that I loved like if you guys can see I mean, it, it needs ironing like obviously it's been sat in a bag for the last like three days so it's got a little centre hand pouchy bit it's got a half zip, but look at this detail at the front with the stitching. I just thought it was really nice. I think it's just this detail here that got me. It was this bit here and the fact that it has like the central pouch. 
I really liked that. Obviously, it's long sleeve. It's a drop shoulder. It's 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 me in a hoodie. It's grey. I don't really wear colour apart from apparently this. But I'm just saying, like, love this. I love it. In fact, let me tell you what, how much it cost. It was £12. That was only £12. I got it in a small as well, which is, again, a 10 to 12. Should hopefully fit okay. I prefer hoodies a little bit bigger anyway, a little bit more baggy. Fit things underneath them and they're nice and comfy. So £12 for this. This could have got a lot worse. Thankfully, most things that were actually sold out are for what I went for, um, which is good but annoying at the same time. You guys will know if you go to Primark, you see something, you want it, or you see it on Instagram or something like that, I think, I'm going to go and get that. And you go in and they don't have it. Like, the Primark near me was just the, like, makeup section, skincare section was almost empty. Like, there really was nothing in. But I did manage to get hold of two face masks, um, which I'm pretty excited to use, actually. I got the Firm and Smooth face mask. I think the sheet masks are probably my favourite. And then I got the Niacinamide sheet mask as well. Again, super look forward to using them. They're both 80 pence each. Like, they're under a pound. Like, you really, you can't, you can't go wrong with that, right? One of these I have needed for so long, which is a headband for when I do my skincare. Because these little strays here, like you can see them, they've probably been flying around the entire time while I've been filming. They do not stay. Does not matter how much I either gel, hairspray, mousse them down, they do not stay. And with my hair being as crazy as it is at the minute, I need an, I need some extra help, okay? This was only £1.50 and uh, it's, it's adorable and it's super soft. So that is going to be so handy every time I do my skincare now. So I've been waiting to use this. I hope you guys appreciate that I've not taken this out of the packet just so I could show it on here. I'm going to use that tonight, just so you know. I also bought um, a shower cap. <laughs> I'm going to look crazy for doing this. I don't wash my hair every day and I have a like a fountain shower and it is so difficult not to get my hair wet when I'm like showering every day. So I need something other than just putting my hair in a bun on top of my head. I need something to help cover it up and stop it getting wet. So I got a shower cap. Um, that's all about that one. And the last thing which you cannot go wrong with is elastics. These I use and go through so fast. I use it at training a lot to tie my hair out of the way um, if I plait it or anything like that just to stop my hair from getting tangled or getting pulled or getting caught in grips or anything like that training. So I tend to use these all the time. I've got the brown and black ones just because obviously my hair is super dark so they'll blend in pretty well. Now let me go get the other thing that I mentioned that I've already used because I was I had to. I, I was desperate to use that so I had to do it. Yeah, I think it was seven, seven or eight pounds this was. And this looks really random. I look at this. Okay, but listen here. You put your skincare on, or even a sheet mask, you turn that on, and you just do this. Along your face, for a few minutes while you've got your sheet mask on. It feels like absolute heaven. I'm, I wanna do it really bad, but I'm not gonna, so just do my makeup. Um, this feels amazing. This is so, so nice. Especially, you know when, when you've got like one of these, like when I put these on, I am 100% gonna sit with this over the top of that mask on my face and just buzz it straight in. I, I'm i obsessed, I love this. And it takes like one AA battery, I think. So just make sure you've got batteries in if you wanna use it, because otherwise you won't be able to. I had to take a battery out of my uh, TV remote to use it initially before I went and bought some, because I didn't have any in, so. Yeah, this is incredible. And I think, I think that is it. <laughs> I think that was it from this Primark haul. It was only a super quick, super short haul, and I can get lost in Primark so, so easily. I'm sure you guys are the same. In fact, I am from the Midlands, but I need to find like a really good Primark. So the one I went to for this lot was the one in Derby City Centre, but I need one that's bigger. I need one that's got some more stuff, that's got a bit more stock in. So please let me know, if you've got a Primark near you, does it have stuff in all the time? Does it have a lot of a lot of different items? Is it quite a big store? Please let me know in the comments below so I can see which store to go to next and do a haul from there and get super excited. And I'm sure I'll probably spend a bit too much money in the next one. But thank you guys so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Until I see you next time. Bye.